Hello, everyone, and welcome to this special edition of the 2023 Annual High School Ceramics Exhibition. I'm Beth Ann Gerstein, and I'm the Executive Director of the American Museum of Ceramic Art in Southern California. Joining me today to celebrate the next generation of ceramic talent from across the United States are my colleagues, Education Manager Carly Lake Irigoyen and our Guest Services Manager and Teaching Artist Aida Nicole Lugo. I would like to thank the Dew Foundation and the Ruth and Joseph Reed Foundation for their support of our field trips, teen council program, and the high school exhibition. And now I'll hand it over to Aida to share more about this year's wonderful exhibition. Thank you all for joining us. And I wanna thank the artists for sharing your ambition and talents. Thank you. In 2020, we took the Southern California Annual Exhibition online and opened the doors for nationwide applications. This year, we received 521 submissions of art from 314 students, doubling what we received last year. It was a tough process, and we made our selections based on technique and execution, attention to detail, and unique approaches to narrative and concept. The exhibition features work from 109 students from 69 high schools across 13 states and Washington, D.C. And now I'll pass it along to our education manager, Carly Lake Irigoyen. Hi everyone, I'm so happy to be here today to celebrate all of the artistic talent from across the US. Um, before we begin, I would like to take a moment to let you know applications will open this summer for our 2023 and 24 Teen Council program. This is a wonderful opportunity to be immersed in a MOCA studio, learn about museums and different professional skills, and develop your ceramic portfolio. Um, the program includes field trips, a culminating exhibition, and of course, friendship. And we'd also like to thank two of our artists in residence, um, Brianna Ferreira and Nick Best, um, for teaching this class this year and sharing their passionate insight with the students. Now, on to the awards. We have categories for a combined ninth and 10th grade, 11th grade, and then 12th grade. There are going to be several honorable mentions and one best in show for each category. The best in show winner for each level includes a cash award and one year membership to AMOCA in recognition of their achievement. So let's begin with the ninth and 10th grade awards. Our first honorable mention is Bright Eyes by Yasmin Jimenez. Bright Eyes is an excellent execution of a mask form. I enjoy how Yasmin used her clay as a canvas, building up color and a very watercolor-esque application. I enjoy how her face looks like it's floating in a galaxy of color. Nice work, Jasmine. Our next honorable mention goes to Rachel Lee for her artwork, Untitled. Rachel has accomplished a mature level of composition and movement in this artwork with striking curves and a push and pull between background and foreground. We also love the subtle botanical textures on the backside and complex yet elegant use of colored glazing. Very striking work. All right, our next honorable mention is Guinea Pig Teapot by Bridget Kelly. Here we have an adorable small hand-built teapot inspired by the artist's own guinea pig named Jinx. Bridget created a very detailed texture with black and yellow glaze, and Jinx's majestic personality shines through in this whimsical combo of gesture and function. Congrats, Bridget, and long live Jinx. <laughs> Our final ninth and 10th grade honorable mention goes to Shadow by Mina Sun. Mina's work exemplifies the potter's process. Layers of stacked pots that didn't quite make the cut. The other pieces now in the shadow, smashed, no color, paling in comparison to the top vessel, which is painted to resemble a terracotta pot that holds a sprout of success. Mina did an excellent job combining all the elements in this piece and sculpting a lifelike sprout. I also enjoyed interpreting this piece, although I'm sure there can be many interpretations. Thanks for your work, Mina. And now we have our best in show selection, Ivan by Sophia Cowlin. This artwork is an excellent example of unique surface treatment and sensitivity to human expression. The rusted looking head conjures up themes of morality and changes of the human condition. 
yet the piece is nuanced in its execution and holds a mysteriously intriguing energy. Congratulations on this wonderful accomplishment. And now we move on to the 11th grade awards, Aida. Honorable mention to the Power of Ignorance piece by Ana Martinez Hernandez. Ana's powerful work shares the narrative of the oppression of girls and denial of education by the Taliban. Anna's work illustrates in clay through figurative form and acrylic painted color, the separation of two girls from a locked up book, a man in power who is much larger than the female figures. This piece is truly troubling. No one is seeing eye to eye. The man has his back turned to the girls, stern in his beliefs and holding the key and the book of knowledge is locked up tight. I only hope that making such work spreads awareness of the true power of ignorance. Very strong work, Anna, thank you. The next honorable mention is The Fisherman by Alexis Weiss. This piece is an exquisite, fully functional ceramic lamp with an LED light and copper tubing. It skillfully illustrates a female anglerfish and her mate a parasite that will fuse to her flesh and she'll carry with her till she dies. We love the juxtaposition of beautiful design with an eerie flair, drawing the viewer like an intrigued prey towards this monstrous creature. Excellent idea, Alexis. Our next honorable mention goes to Cane Teapot by Sophia Buki. Anyone who's attempted a teapot knows it's a challenge made of a few components. Sophia's Cane Teapot has a well-made form and detailed tiered lid. Cane teapot references the traditional Japanese dobbin teapot that typically uses an uate or a handle made from a different material such as wood or straw. This keeps the heat from transferring. The glaze of the teapot is very dark and dreamy like a night sky. I enjoy how Sophia added two clay handles to attach the cane handle that is woven together with loose ends that create a more, a more dynamic flow, sorry of the handle form. Awesome work, Sophia. All right, and now we have our best in show for 11th grade it goes to Miriam Wheeler. Um, Noodle Nelly is the title of this piece. And we were totally floored when we saw this colorful artwork and the exceptional execution of painted underglaze. In Wheeler's words, this plate is an exploration of the old adage, you are what you eat. The figure's head has been replaced by a tomato with a single bulging eye, deliberately breaking the fourth wall, forcing the viewer to contemplate the relationship they have with what's on their plate. Wheeler's talents with visual storytelling and composition really shine through here. Congratulations on all your hard work. And now we're going to move on to the 12th grade awards. And the first honorable mention goes to Dane Abbott, Flowing Line. Dane has created this beautiful lidded jar with a raku and sagar firing process. This artist created the variety of colors in the piece with a reaction of salt, sawdust, and copper wire. The sections were created separately and then assembled together after the firing to create a composition with elegance and movement, reflecting intricate patterns found in nature. Truly excellent execution, Dane. Our next honorable mention goes to When Will It End by Sydney Young, an exquisite display of art installation by Sydney. I enjoy the setup here and how the work takes up a corner, which can be a challenge to fill in the gallery. When Will It End has the remnants of an animal. We see the rib cage hanging across the corner, two bones on the pedestal palette, along with a skull. The yarn and fiber strewn across can be interpreted as the carnage of the animal. As, the an, as an animal lover and an advocate for animal rights, this piece evoked many emotions in me. As an educator, this piece impressed me by its use of materials and its mature portrayal of an idea. Awesome work, Sydney. Our next honorable mention is Ava Prasner, Matebo's Melody. Ava has created a working kalimba interest 
instru instrument inspired by Zimbabwe culture. The work gives us a peek into a Zimbabwe village with beautiful hut designs that are typical of the region. Ava's piece depicts the annual tradition where women in the villages use colors of soil to hand paint patterns onto their homes. This is a wonderful fusion of musical design and celebration of earth as art, which we obviously love. And the vibrant relief style pulls you right into this playful scene. Great idea, Ava. All right, and now we have our best in show for the 12th grade awards. This goes to Seth Duffy for his piece, VW Bug Tortoise Hybrid. Our winner created a very personal piece here. He was inspired by his own Sakulta tortoise and orange VW Baja bug. Seth has combined the two forms with such a dynamic construction and that gorgeous pop of complementary colors. You can feel the tortoise's movement um, and forward motion in the gesture of its legs and overall composition. And then we have the contrasting textures of the tortoise and the vehicle, which shows a wide range of this artist's skills. Wonderful work, Seth. And with that, we conclude our awards. We'd like to say a huge thank you to all of the students who submitted their artwork. Um, it's truly awesome to view everyone's work. And we also wanna say thank you to the teachers who have generously supported them in their practice. And of course, the schools that continue to provide a space for explorations in ceramic art. Um, so stick around. We will continue this presentation with the rest of our accepted artworks. And again, all of these artworks will be viewable in our virtual gallery at amoca.org. Thank you again for participating and attending this presentation.